go for this one. 10, 10, 15, 20, 100 uh, breakouts. I didn't get any red spots. I didn't get irritated, burning sensation. Well, I do not speak the Japanese language. Kick. and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to review another product for you, another sunscreen product for you. And this is the, the Bure UV Aqua Rich Watery Essence SPF 50 Plus PA++++. Well, I've been really dying to try this one out because my boyfriend tends to really love the older version of this. And he recently tried this new reformulation of this product and he loves it too. So we're entering the J Beauty universe. Well, I do not speak the Japanese language. <laughs> made my research, translated everything that is really important to me, check if I agree with the claims or I disagree, jump right into it. This product contained 70 gram of product, which is quite fair, I guess, for the price point as well. I paid for this, uh, I think 11 or 12 euro. I got mine from YesStyle. And I think this is a really fair amount for this price point. It says it is ultimate waterproof for about 80 minutes. It is super sweat proof. I can definitely test that today because it is really, really hot here in Berlin. It is a suitable makeup base, so it should be a working like maybe also like a primer. Leaves no white cast and no sticky feeling. Great filters in it, like Japanese uh, sunscreens usually tend to have. So this one has octinoxate, Juvenal T150, Juvenal A+, Tinosorb S, and they do really form a great broad spectrum of coverage for the skin. That you have an idea what I have on my face right now. I do have a base right now, so I use used a really hydrating toner on top of that a hydrating serum and on top of that I used a ceramide treatment serum I did not use any cream product Let's just jump right in and this is the applicator I do have a mirror here so I can see myself a little bit to see how I cover the areas okay so all right oh this looks wild A really alcoholic scent, but that is really nothing that bothers me a lot, honestly. Like alcohol, my sunscreens. I know this is a really big deal for a lot of people out there, but I think alcohol sh in in your sunscreen shouldn't like scare you so much because unless you have like very dehydrated, like super dry, extreme sensitive skin. I have eczema. I had uh, acne for a long time, like really severe acne, and I tend to really have these red spots and really bad reactions. But so far. So so good. I don't know if you can see this. It melts into the skin. I skipped the lips because I have a separate lip SPF, so I don't put it right on top of my lips. Oh, this is beautiful. No white cast. Rub it around my eyes to make sure it's protected when I go outside for my coffee date. Stunning finish. If you're more searching for a matte finish or that mattifies a little bit more because you tend to be extremely oily, then this is definitely not go for you. But if you are a normal to dry skin type, I think this is pretty beautiful. So I'm also going to do a neck pilling test. I also checked the ingredient list and there are some ingredients inside I think are worth to be highlighted. For example, it does contain hyaluronic acid, which is great because it acts like a humectant, which means that it basically attracts water from the environment. On the other side, it also contains glycerin, which is also absolutely fantastic for hydration and also works like a humectant. This also has arginine in it, which is also a nice hydrating component. I would always recommend to let it dry a bit before you apply anything else so it has time to build a proper film on top of your skin to really have this like protective layer you want and why you applied it.
Hello, I'm back a couple of days later than I expected it to be. Finally, it's time. I have a lot of thoughts to share about this one. Let's talk about the packaging. Honestly, there's nothing I have to complain about this packaging. This is the tip. I really believe it is super convenient. It's easy for application. You have a lot of control. I really like this packaging, to be honest, because it really fits into every purse. 10 out of 10. Let's talk about the texture. It is not liquidy. I wouldn't say it's really runny or whatsoever. It is just really light. This texture is just so delicious. Like really, it is so delicious. It's so hydrating, very light, like ultra lightweight. And it really does what it says. And it dries down so beautifully. Texture wise, 10 out of 10. What about the finish? So I have to say this is really healthy kind of finish. You get like a little bit of dewiness, but not too much. It's definitely not on a matte side. So if you really are going for such matte kind of finish, this this isn't it. But if you're searching for something that is just a teeny tiny bit more extra than just putting on some moisturizer, then this is the one for you. It's not radiant. It's just a nice, healthy shine. I love the finish. It's fantastic. It's not too grease ball like, but it is just, it gives me that little kick. 10 out of 10. What about the smell? I have mixed thoughts about the smell, if I have to be honest. Okay, the first second, you can really smell the alcohol. If you detest it, this is a no for you, but it dissipates quite nicely. It takes seconds by seconds by seconds, but I would say like half a minute, it's gone. It doesn't linger on the skin. And I think this is really, really fine. This one has fragrance. Unfortunately, this has fragrance. I'm not really a fan of that because I think this is such a beautiful formula. This is such a great product. Why? Why did you put in some fragrance? It's so unnecessary. I feel like you can smell nicely everywhere else, but not not on your face. It is like citrusy, but also flowery. I believe they use white mugwort. I'm not really sure I'm gonna blend it right in here. And I believe it, it does not really linger on your skin. It's not like overpowering or heavy or something like that, but it definitely is there. So that's why it's bearable for me since I detest scent in my skincare and I think it's absolutely unnecessary. And because of the alcohol smell, I would say it is a four out of 10. Does this have white cast? No, 10 out of 10 for sure make a base test. Okay, I have something to say here. This me encanta. This is absolutely marvelous, fantastic, fabulous. I cannot even hype this product enough as a makeup base. I would have never thought that, but this, but this is the most beautiful makeup base I have ever, ever, ever seen as a sunscreen. I didn't even use any sort of primer. My makeup stayed in place like flawlessly. I also used it today and I sweated today. I did the household today. I cooked today. I was outside today. And can you see this? It really looks good. You don't want to wear a primer, but you want to have a sunscreen. Go for this one. 10. 10, 15, 20, 100 out of 10 as a makeup base. Never seen something similar. This is fabulous. Was this easy to reapply? Yes, for sure. I would say if you are a makeup wearer, you always have to like find out how you can do it. For me personally, I tend to just use a sponge and then I just dab it very gentle, very lightly on top of the makeup. And then I just reapply the most important steps, for example, a little cream blush. But I think it really does not smudge any powder product. It doesn't look cakey, weird, or you get like weird spots or something like that. So I would say it's really a breeze. If you don't wear makeup, this is even a better breeze. This is like light as air and the layers on top of each other look so beautiful. I use this throughout the week without makeup, with makeup. I would say it was always beautiful, never pilled whatsoever, 10 out of 10. What about neck pilling? No, nothing, no neck pilling ever. My hair didn't even stick that much on my neck as it does usual when I wear sunscreen. Only the Skin Aqua, I also reviewed another video, was quite better in being even less stickier, but it was just like air for my hair. But this one still made an absolute fantastic job in not being too sticky for my hair when I have it open like today. This is a nine out of 10. M -m -m Most important category. Eye stinging. This was really surprising to me. To be honest, I didn't thought it would be as wonderful as it was. I use this 
so much this week. I did exercise, I did household, I was outside. We had days with 32 degrees Celsius. Never have I ever experienced a moment where it stinked in my eyes. And this is crazy. I have set it around my eyes like usual, but I do this with every sunscreen and other sunscreens tend to give me that eye stinging feeling and that burning sensation, although I set it. But this one, I cannot, this is perfect. If you have eyes that tend to get watery, irritated, red, and you really get that blurred sight, try this one out. It's so good, but please set your eyes with some translucent powder because no matter what type of sunscreen you use throughout the day, your skin heats up, you sweat a little bit, and that can cause the product to crawl into your eyes and that could cause eye stinging. So protect your skin around your eyes and go for this one. 10, 10, 15, again, 20 out of 10. This is remarkable, remarkable for real. Is this one beard approved? Let's ask my boyfriend. Who <laughs> beard test? Alrighty, I can tell you girls, if you watch this, if you want to get your man to wear some sunscreen, this is the one. I didn't try that many, but from all the ones I tried, this is just the best. As you can see, I have quite some beard right now. And if I put it on, it just disappears immediately. It, it smells like nice. It's like water. It's just like a cream because we guys, we hate it when it's like sticky and it's not sticky at all. If you would be on your keyboard typing away, you wouldn't leave any like oily spots. So beard wise, this is a 10 out of 10. Also important to me, is this suitable for every skin type? I would say if you have sensitive skin, like in general, sensitive skin, this is a 10 out of 10 for you. I have very sensitive skin. I have a crazy skin and this really did not irritate my skin. I didn't got any breakouts, I didn't get any red spots, I didn't get irritated burning sensation. And this was so beautiful to apply. I would give it a straight 10 out of 10. The only cases where I wouldn't use it if you have two types of situations. The first one is you have very dehydrated, very irritated skin, and you really have this type of pus filled, super red, super irritated kind of acne. This is also a case where I wouldn't use this because two things, first, you have alcohol in this product and this could possibly just possibly be a trigger for irritation and i would just avoid anything that could possibly trigger your already sensitive and irritated skin because there are sunscreens out there that do have a little bit more of this soothing type of ingredient list and this one doesn't it's more on just on the hydrating side it's just hydrating moisturizing but it's not soothing and i feel like if you really have that state of where your skin is like freaking out and you need something that is more like calming it down this is not for you i would take Take another one and also i would always avoid anything that has some sort of scent to it this could always be a possible trigger for your skin although it didn't trigger mine which is ultra sensitive does not mean that it does not trigger your skin and that's why i would just tell you don't use this if you have a very severe condition right now with your skin 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 is this one scar proofed so for all of you who did not know that i have a scar I have the scar from surgery this year. The skin is really, really, really sensitive. It's not able to protect itself anymore from the sun. That's why we have to cover it always with sunscreen, no matter if it's rainy, if it's snowy, if it's hot, no matter what, I have to cover it up. If you have a scar on your face or on your body whatsoever, use this. This is so good. This is advertised as body and face sunscreen. I do really agree it works both ways. Although it has thunned, still scar-wise, 10 out of 10, 10. 10 out of 10. Overall rating. Okay, this is really hard for me because honestly, I would give it a 10 out of 10. It really deserved the 10 out of 10, truly. But I am so picky. I hate scent in my sunscreens. I really just detest it. I cannot give it a 10 because I personally hate scent. So I would give it a 9.7.5 out of 10. But I believe, you know what, if I have to be honest, I will definitely reuse this every single time I can. Every single time I want to go for a, for a safe sunscreen, I would use this one. If I go out wearing some makeup, I would use this one. So I would give it a 10 out of 10. Be right if you ever see this, I would love you to make a version without fragrance because then I can gladly give you like a 10 or a hundred out of 10 if that makes sense but i really believe this is such a beautiful product if you're searching for a sunscreen product for a reasonable price and you also want to have like something that works on the face and the body and you love to wear makeup and you have sensitive eyes and you have sensitive skin like me then this is so good and to you guys who also may have a beard this is so good 
so good if you make some sport if you if you're like someone who goes to the gym every single day and you sweat like crazy or you're a runner outside this is so good it won't irritate your skin trust me my boyfriend has psoriasis on his face and it doesn't irritate him at all good very good very very good go for this one so worth a try